Hello and welcome to episode number 57 of NJPR, the Nintendo Jump Podcast Radio. We are live in this lovely Thursday evening of July 25th, and we are mere hours away from the release of Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Nintendo Switch. But before that, today we have a riveting episode for you guys. As always, I would like to welcome Daryl to the show. Daryl, how are you this fine evening? Hey Sergio, it's it's great to be here. I'm I'm really looking forward to this episode. How are you? I am doing fantastic. As you can tell, I'm on the edge of my seat. But we also have, as always, Kevin. Kevin, how are you doing? Hello. I'm doing very well, you know, just feeling like a champion. I'm very excited, as you can tell. And, you know, here at the uh, at NJP, you know, we're going to be doing things. And with that being said, what are we doing today? Well, <laughs> usually we ask you that. <laughs> yeah, I, like, isn't that your job? Yeah. I, <laughs> I thought you wanted to do the intro. I was like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that it was going too. so well. What, the, what was that? Clock that at a minute and a half, maybe? Yeah. Oh, we, can, we can turn back. <laughs> well, so anyway, we have a very eclectic mix of music today that we are, we are very excited to deliver to your, your ears tonight. So buckle in. Yeah. And we're going to do a live music episode so for our listeners on discord and for all of you listening on this recording later on is going to be awesome and uh yeah sergio take it away all right going back to normal mode <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> but yeah we have a um, music episode number six and this time we're trying something a little different we have one submission from everyone but just one so one submission per Listener, and most of them are by our listeners, and we have 18 songs this time around. So, in our first submittal, it's by Jordan. Oh, so here we go. God, I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, I, it's it can't be Fire Emblem because I haven't heard of that one yet. But I didn't play all. The, well, okay, I played most of the Fire Emblem games, but that that's not that's not a Fire Emblem game. It's very. Um, it just feels like you're on the seat in the movie and you're watching a cinematic film of like dragons and castles and 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 just this field of flowers and and then just these. I don't know. It's I don't know it's it's definitely RPG but I'm mm-hmm. not sure what it is. Um yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna guess an RPG I've never played. It's it's got to be <laughs> uh, and and considering we've already talked about a ton of them, uh, assuming it's something new, maybe Dragon Quest, maybe. Mm. 
other than that, I don't know. No, and it's not exactly that new, but yes, we we have talked about it. This is Golf Story. Oh my god. Where, that just, wait, where is this whoa. in Golf Story? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> it's the f- Okay, now I remember. It's like the first like intro tune, right? Like when you Ah, oh, that makes sense. I believe sense. so. Yes, it's called uh Golf that's, Story theme. That's what threw me. Wow. Oh wow. I mean, it's been a while, but I don't remember that at all. Now Golf Story does have some really good music, but that wow. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Dang, you know, we were just thrown off by the <laughs> just how much it sounded like an RPG. <laughs> well, it technically kind of is. So it is an RPG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, like, like an RPG that we would talk about a lot more, like Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest. But yeah, I mean, okay, that's a very good one, Jordan. You know, man, hey, nice start. Very good. Yeah. So, Golf Story developed and published by Sidebar Games. Thanks, Jordan, for that one. And our next submittal, it's by Kybus or Cube. Here we go. Next track. Yes, I do love the composition of that song. It's marvelously put together. Just a <laughs> instant classic. Very good. And although it is very good, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I played the game associated So with it makes before. me want to dance. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is this is Crypt of the Necker Dancer, right? Yes. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's like late in the it. game, if I, if I remember right. It's uh, it's one of the 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 late themes. It's great. <laughs> that whole mm. soundtrack is great. Yeah, there's so much hype about that game. Um, even like my coworker friend James, like he he talked to me all about it and like how he beat it multiple times, like different characters and like over and over. And then when Canes of Hyrule came out. He he already beat it within like a week or so. I'm like, damn, that's pretty good. Man. So yeah, he was pretty fast with that. So um, maybe even sooner than a week. I'm not sure, but it was at least a few days. <laughs> but yeah. So I don't know what it is. Uh, 
Cadence of Hyrule did not grip me as much as I thought it would. Mm. Uh, I think it's great. I enjoyed the time that I spent with it, but I actually, uh, total, I've played more of the original than than Hyrule, which I wouldn't have expected, but... Oh, wow. Whatever. Mm. (laughs) Interesting. So, yeah, that was um, Stone Cold, or Level 3-1, from Crypt of the Necrodancer, development published by Brace Yourself Games. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Kaibos or Cube. And we have our third submittal for this week by Jimmy from Sweden. Here we go. So I I typed high five if anyone knows this this I mean it, that one took me like five notes and and Jimmy man you just moved up in my rankings for sure <laughs> <laughs> great song Kevin do you know this I have no idea but you know what if if there were a company that wanted to make a Lion King sort of like movie with music but in a more mellower chill <laughs> sort of vibe with like elephants dancing silently but not loudly silently mm-hmm. all across the plains <laughs> this is exactly what it would sound like <laughs> well i'm gonna i'm gonna refocus you a little bit it's not elephants it's dinosaurs oh whoa, 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 whoa. okay 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 dinosaurs <laughs> sergio i'm not wrong here right no, no, yeah, you got it. Okay, <laughs> just, what just making, it? making sure because I would have made like a huge <laughs> fool of myself. Yeah. Oh man, well, yeah, what? Where is it from? I have no idea. Okay, so this is this is the last game uh, developed by Rare for mm. a Nintendo console. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that would, of course, make it Star Fox Adventures, uh, formerly known as Dinosaur Planet. Uh, before Star Fox got hold of it, and dang, a much hated game, and I, in my opinion, very, very unwarranted. I loved this game; I really mm. did. Dang, man. Yeah, for sure, it's a great Zelda. I don't want to say clone, but like very inspired, and it's it's really good. Yeah, for sure. Mm. So um, that was Thorntail Hollow version during the day by developed by Rare, published by Nintendo from Star Fox Adventures, indeed. So yeah, thank you, Jimmy. 
That was and I also want to say that most of the music in that game does not sound like that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is definitely a standout track. And uh, I so I mean, flashback to memories of uh, they used to have uh, GameCube demo discs. So a, a d- GameCube disc with a bunch of game demos on it that you could get at like GameStop and, and various mm-hmm. places. I got the one with Star Fox Adventures and played that demo probably a dozen times or so, and then I was so excited wow. for the game and played all the way through it a couple times. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> like I said, high five uh, to to Jimmy and anyone else who uh, who got this one because you know not the best game in the world, but one that's kind of special to me. So <laughs> awesome, very good. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. We have our next middle of the night, and it is by Dragon. Oh, so here we go. What could it be? <laughs> that is what it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the exact song. It just seems like you're a cheetah, and, like, you're going at 50 miles an hour, and you're going across the plains, mm-hmm. and then, you know, you're you're bouncing off the wall, you're, you're going, you're, you're jumping over bushes and trees and hills that have eyes, and then... And then on top of, uh, above you, you see this, you see a plethora of stars just like glistening in the moonlight and then just dancing around you while you try to, you know, get to your destination, which I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I don't know what it could be. It just seems like a cheetah. How, how, how fast did you say you were going? 50 miles an hour. Not 60, 50. Yeah. Mm, could you go faster, 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 faster? Oh, no. <laughs> kind of like a hedgehog? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 hold on. What? Which Sonic game though? Like not Sonic Adventure Two, not Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two. I'm gonna say that. No. <laughs> ah, damn. I probably would have gotten it if it were. Also, <laughs> might have had lyrics if it were Sonic Adventure yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Soaring through the sky. Oh, no, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? <laughs> which Sonic game is it? <laughs> Any guesses, Daryl? Uh, so it's from a newer game, and we've kind of narrowed it down to Sonic. 
Yes, and it's it's regarded as a good one. Mm. Uh, That's really narrowing it down. <laughs> it, well, it is, and I'm trying to think of which ones are the good ones now. <laughs> is, is it like... <laughs> like, like is Sonic it a... Rush is a good one, but that sounds newer than that. Mm-hmm. Sonic Mania is a good one, but... Not that new. <laughs> no, no it's not, not that it new. Sonic Mania. Oh. So I'm, I'm going to go with Sonic and the Black Knight. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just go Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors it is. Hey. What? Teamwork. <laughs> Team Sonic. Aquarium Park Act 3 from Sonic Colors, developed by Sonic Team, published by Sega. Yeah, oh, and shout out is... to my wife knowing that when I didn't. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Dang. Nice. St- Sonic Colors. I've never played that one. Damn, I mm, okay. I I rented it and played it for a couple hours and then just kind of didn't go back to it. I don't know why, because uh, mm. it was fun actually. Nice. We have our next submittal. Uh, it is by Danny. Here we go. Ooh. The, the most this is a little too much for me i don't know it was very very disturbing <laughs> this it's is too, freaking people out for some reason it's a happy it was, little tune kevin it was it's too not... happy i i can't i can't <laughs> the the felicity that it sustain that it sustains for so that's that long of a time i cannot contain i cannot even <laughs> not contain but i just can't i can't like I, I can't absorb it i don't understand and then just the like, wait and I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the next song I'm gonna cover for our ending theme now. Oh no! <laughs> yes. I, oh, I'm gonna veto that so quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty sure this song came from episode ten. No, I mean, um, 
uh, oh. a link between worlds, I think, right? Yeah, and I can't believe, Kevin, you, you haven't played this game? I have not played that game, and that song Ooh. would have freaked me out. It's too it's too happy. <laughs> I, I can't. So, mm. You only hear the song a little bit. It's not, you, you don't just, uh, hopefully you don't just like sit in there and, and listen to it. Uh, if I remember <laughs> right, so there's a... There, there's basically a mother octopus. It's like my my or something. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> and you find her babies all over the world. Like there's a hundred of them or something like that. And yeah. you, when you take them back to her in groups of ten or something, she can upgrade stuff or something. I forget exactly the. Uh, that's it. The, the setting for that, but uh, yeah, that song plays in there, and it gets more animated the more babies you have in there. Yes. So when the way way yeah, that doesn't happen early on. It's just the little harp theme, and then it builds. Actually, that entire game really plays with building songs over the course of the game. Like there's multiple high rule themes, uh, there's multiple low rule themes, and in particular, the final uh, castle, the low rule castle. Uh, theme every floor adds something to the theme and it's just fantastic to listen to i'll post that later um (laughs) but it's they do a lot with just like okay here's a simple theme and i'm gonna build on it and build on it build on it and build on it so every time you visit this area or you grow a little bit or something the song changes it's just awesome i I really liked a lot of what they did with that game the low rule theme in that game is like top 10 nintendo tracks in, in my opinion so yeah, it's basically the Dark World from uh, Link to the Past just done really well. So, yeah, love the game. Man, Dark World, but it it just seems so ironic. I don't know. It's a good, it's a definitely good pick. I just <laughs> it threw me off so much, and I'm not used to he- hearing tunes like that. So that's that's just on me. But uh, definitely, yeah, you uh, need a little more happiness in your life. It's okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know what that. That might be a fact, but you know uh, what? That's it. Like, I'm gonna add a, a song uh, plug into our Discord and just play that 24/7. Oh no! I, ah, <laughs> I cannot. Oh, okay. Well, Danny got me on that one. That was that was really good. <laughs> so yeah, that was my my cape from the Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds for the 3DS, developed and published by Nintendo, submitted by Danny. And our next submittal is by Darkus. Ooh. Here we go. Man, 
I don't know why, but it reminds me of that Super Mario Odyssey um, course <laughs> when you're in when you're you know with that very that Japanese like samurai like that that Bowser like just that whole building the decor of like that that Bowser Kingdom. I I don't know why it reminded me of that. <laughs> it just because when I was playing it that one day uh, you know a while back, I was like, man, okay, this feels it feels a little different than you know. Well, not really different, but I I just I loved it. But it's not it's not Super Mario Odyssey. It can't be. I mean, <laughs> no, let's no. But <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I don't know why. It just remind me. I I just remind me of that. I'm like, yo, Super Mario Odyssey, right? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> So what is it? <laughs> no, not not even close. <laughs> my okay. yeah. my only guess, and I haven't I haven't played this game. Uh, my only guess is Dark Souls. Is it? No. No. Oh, uh. Dang that, that that's a good guess though. I mean, but I do. But you know, I'm I'm definitely more in the mood of this one <laughs> than the previous song. I'm sorry, Dark Danny. <laughs> like it's, it has a bit more darkness in my heart. Uh, excuse me, it, it, for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Well, I, yeah, yeah no. you you are kind of related. This is Call of Duty Finest Hour. Wait, what? It's Call <laughs> yeah. of Duty? Yo. You, got, you guys got him again, really? What? <laughs> Call of Duty? Wait, Finest Hour. When, when was that released? Cause I, that I was on I, GameCube. Okay, We're well, going to do an all Call of Duty episode in the future and just... Okay. <laughs> Not, no. Hey guys, keep it a secret. Nobody tell Kevin, okay? No. <laughs> right. Wait. What did you guys say? I didn't hear that part. <laughs> no, but I. Well, to be to be fair, in my half baked defense, uh, I well <laughs> actually this is true. I've never played Call of Duty until Modern Warfare One, so I never played the Finest Hour. I don't know what it's about. Mm. So, um, but if it it's were in, Modern Warfare, it's in the title, so, man. I mean, come on. Uh well, you know, duty calls. But, I mean. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang it, man! Yeah, that's ah. Uh. Yeah, I was I was thinking it seemed the only thing that was that was pulling me back. So a uh, part of it sounded like Dark Souls, and then it started into the um like the singular horse horn theme that kind of goes with like spy movies and stuff. So that was kind of throwing it off, and yeah, that makes sense. So okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but good, you know, Dark pick, is, but yeah. Dark has got me. I mean, this is a very good pick. I, I never knew that Call of Duty music could be like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's usually a bit faster paced, at least from what Yeah, I usually do. there's some electric guitar in there, but... Hmm. <laughs> hey, okay. It's a good pick of a game I've never played, so I liked yeah. it. Yeah. At least yeah, it's not some obscure uh, NES game this time, so good on you, Dark. Oh, yeah, like Sword of Hope 2 <laughs> or whatever. Actually, that was, that was pretty interesting, though. I was like, yeah, I've never heard that one. <laughs> um, so... That was Tank Battle from Call of Duty Finest Hour, developed by Spark Unlimited, published by Activision. Uh, thank you, Darkus. And now we have our song by Dr. Fact. Here we Ooh. go.
just 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 bear with me on this one, okay? So just imagine that you're a anime cactus, okay? <laughs> so you're like like a cactuar from Final Fantasy, I don't know, eight. And then you you decide to go on your adventure. You have a detective hat. You have a pair of shades. They're pilot shades. They're nothing else. And then you're in the city of, I don't know, New York. And then you're just trying to find the your best friend who is locked in the cellar. Uh, and he's, he's surrounded by ten thousand bottles of wine. And you have to figure out how to how to you know get him out of there. And then <laughs> then you use your but you don't want to use your 10,000 needles attack because if you use it, it's going to make a big commotion. So you're trying to be very sneaky about it. And yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, just I a, mean... you're just an anime cat <laughs> with like a, like, it's like a detective thing and you're trying to figure out where your friend is. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so is this anime cactus adventure Sergio <laughs> I wish it was but no <laughs> yo, yo, I would play that game to death I mean uh, I don't yeah you know um, do, 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 do. Mm, it's not a detective <laughs> game is it it's not S- yeah, sort of it's an adventure game oh okay um, fairly recent it's on the switch Oh, is it an indie? Yes, and highly regarded. This is Night in the Woods. Oh my! I, oh, I okay. played on the PS. Oh, the PS4. Dang! Mm-hmm. How did I forget about that? <laughs> oh, was it the one of the? Is it one of the beginning? Like do do do. Pretty know. much <laughs> title theme from Night in the Woods, developed by wow. Infinite Fall and Secret Lab, and published by Finji. Man, I am doing terrible with this music episode. I can't even guess one. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I, I guess the ones I probably should have guessed, and I haven't played uh, the ones I. The only one I missed was Golf Story. So yeah, yeah okay. that, that was a good, that was a great one, and this one too, Nine in the Woods. Yeah, um, I haven't I haven't played Nine in the Woods. I've heard nothing but good things about it, so it's it's definitely on my my watch list of sorts, but just haven't gotten around to it. So. It yeah you know it's a pretty awesome game. Well, I haven't finished it yet, but it was a it's a pretty awesome game. Like just, um, well, we can get into it another day. But yeah, uh, I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to play in like an awesome, very different indie. Uh, yeah. So now the woods. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, Doctor Fact. And we have our next submittal by Lama Libre. All right. So here we go. Next track.
of fairness had a sailing my world of conflict one goes what keeps me going take back when the last to the bosses of greed and fear yeah. don't ask why i'm ready but i'm ready to take them down now the time for a new start is constantly drawing near See now that is Sonic Adventure Two. I mean, come Dang, on, that, I mean, that, yo, that's what we were talking about, right? No, it's not. It's not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who? So wait, who's this by? Uh, I don't know if you. This is, this was submitted by Lama Libre. Oh, okay, right. Oops. Okay. Hmm. That's a good hint. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I mean. I can only guess Persona, but I've never played any Persona games before, so I not really. it I, I know which game this is from. Okay. <laughs> this is from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Heck yeah. It's one oh, of the many it? songs that I uh turned the recurrence all the way down so I could listen to the other persona song. So <laughs> that, that, that llama also submitted. <laughs> oh, there we go. But I might oh. turn this one back up a little bit. But yeah, so this is uh, from Persona 5, and I knew that. Yes. Sweet. Rivers in the Desert from in Persona 5, published by Atlas, developed by P Studio. Nice. Great pick. And we have our next submittal by G.I. Jello. G.I. Jello.
I'd say yeah. this this is a tough one. It's it's a Nintendo game, right? It is on a Nintendo system. Oh, Ooh, wow. Okay. Wow. Because usually when I hear about G.I. Joe, I think about like non-Nintendo games. Um, <laughs> uh, which which is cool because, you know, he he plays a like a variety of different systems and genres and stuff. So, well, okay, some genres, but but he plays some pretty awesome games. Uh, I just don't... Mm, what? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's What could it... Is it a new Nintendo game? <laughs> It, uh, I think it was either earlier this year. Yeah, earlier this year. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. It's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> I feel like I've heard it somehow, but yeah, I have no idea. So this is Desert from Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Oh. oh that's so you're one. saying it's tough because like almost nobody played that game. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I, I, never, I have not played that game. That's sad. <laughs> I actually like that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 so yeah, um, bum, Travis bum. Strikes Again, No More Heroes, developed and published by Grasshopper Manufacturer. I think you're right, Daryl. It sounds like it was a really good game. <laughs> I mean, we could still play it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> In uh, preparation for No More Heroes three. Ooh, that's true. Coming sometime in the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, EA Jello, for your real submission. And now we have one by Dapper Dan Man. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. 
Man, this is the one song I recognize out of all the other ones. I mean, I have memories <laughs> of this song. I even, I mean, Donkey Kong Country, Aquatic Ambiance, like, it, it, it is one of the best songs in video game history. Like, I'm just telling you that right now. Like, there is, there is nothing like it. You know, um, I remember a uh, long time ago, I got, I was really young, I got this video, this VHS in the mail, and it was a promotional video of Donkey Kong Country. And I would play like every single night until the game came out. And when I finally got the game, I just I just played it. I loved it. I mean, what a gem. What a classic. I mean, DKC. I mean, yeah, dude. Yep, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just sitting here appreciating that they somehow got that on the Super Nintendo. I, yeah, yeah, right? It's like... <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, even the part where it sounds like a harmonica. It, oh, God. Oh, it's just, it just makes you want to like flap your wings even though you even if you don't have any like you just you just feel <laughs> like aquatic kevin i know but i i, I want to f- i just fly out out of the water <laughs> flap my wings. so kevin <laughs> wants to be a puffin is what i'm hearing <laughs> <laughs> flap my wings man uh anyway <laughs> nice so yes um aquatic ambience from donkey kong country developed by rare published by nintendo Thanks, Dapper Dan Man. And now we have a submittal by Swaddle. Ooh. Here we go. Thank you. 
really get your maracas. <laughs> oh, I really like this one. Um, but I don't know which. I don't know the exact title of this song. I don't know. Is this? I like like the jazziness. I like the 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 vibe. The Latin vibes. I mean, makes you want to dance. You know, while you levitate. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. It really. Mm. What games? Did you say have, while you levitate. While you levitate, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> while you levitate, you're dancing. You dance so well that you're just levitating out of the air. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't say I, I feel like I'm going back to this well a lot, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I I think I might have heard this one before, but I just mm. it's Cuphead, right? Yes. Is it? Okay. Oh, okay. Which yeah, theme? Was I wasn't it? sure on it, but yeah, it sounds like it. Which um I I've been I've been a couple bosses but I don't know which theme um which uh it is called Floral Fury yes from Cuphead developed and published by Studio MDHR. Mm. I have to finish that game. <laughs> game has such good music, like just throughout <laughs> everything I've seen on it or played from it, it's so good. Yeah, it's man. I mean, there's there's like a documentary too, or like an interview with them. Not documentary, but like just them explaining the game and how they had to like almost have to was it they had to put a mortgage on their home to finish it. I mean, just it's a pretty awesome story uh, of of just these two guys just making this game. So um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> cool, good pick. Yeah, great game. Thanks, Battle. And next to middle is by Shy Guy. Ooh. This is the second song we feature from this game, and after uh, the first one and then some some later discussion, I once said that you could not sneak this game past me, so nice try, but no. Ooh. This is obviously a Call of Duty game. <laughs> no, it's, I, you know, at this rate, I, I don't want to be surprised, but I don't think it is. Call of Duty no. on the DS. Really? So, <laughs> no. no, no, God, I, no! It's obviously Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for no. Oh, I <laughs> Kevin, like do you know fifth. this song? No, you've heard, you've heard, heard this song. Um, I don't know if I have. Maybe I have a bad memory. Um, have I played this game? 
<laughs> yes, you have played this game. <laughs> do, 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 you may do. or may not have given this game your game of the year last year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Gosh. Now I now I have a really bad memory. I don't even know. It's, so it's not it's not Celeste. It's got to be. No, it's uh, definitely not Celeste. It's not Celeste. Yeah. Uh, it's doo-doo. definitely not Star Jump from Celeste. That that would be crazy. <laughs> oh. I, yes, no. it's Celeste. It's the song called Star Jump from oh, Celeste. That, okay, wait. Which I I forgot which level. It has been a while since I played that game. Yeah. So that's not a level theme. It's a, it's a song that plays during one of the cutscenes. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. I, if I, I, I remember mm. right, and this has been a while since I played the actual story, this is when she uh, confronts her Mary. fears, anxieties, whatever. Oh, um, okay. So that's why you hear kind of the intensity there, and that story beat is just incredible. Uh, also, if I remember right, it transfers that the the main theme there, the do 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 do, is kind of a background theme, kind of a sub theme in a bunch of different songs in that game, and then it transforms yeah. into its own song with that intensity, and mm, mm, that game gives me chills. So it's <laughs> yeah. awesome. No, it's a it's a pretty good track. I mean. I just wish I paid more attention to that. I mean, I, I was when I think of Celeste, I think of like the hotel theme is like my favorite. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's dang. Okay, what is it called? So it's called Star Jump. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm. Yes. I, am, am I right on that? Okay, just making sure. Cool. Yeah, Star Jump from Celeste, developed and published by Matt Makes Games, and a top three game on Switch for me. So mm-hmm. play Celeste if you haven't, please. Play the game. Nice. So thank you, Shy Guy. And our next to middle is by Chewy. And this is from a recording of the song. But I think if you know the game, you're going to know the song. And it's part of a little bit of a compilation. So here we go. Okay. You know, just by how wacky it is, I have to say Splatoon. It, it, you know, it just gives me that vibe. Um, All right. So, since it is fairly obvious, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make you be specific. One or two? Well, I've never played one, so I don't know what one sounds like. But I mean, <laughs> pretty much that. <laughs> is it? Yeah. But this is actually from two. So okay. Yeah. Like it. it just. The first few seconds, I'm like, boom, Splatoon. This has got to be. Like, there's yep. just no... Yeah, so, man, that's pretty good. That's a good pull. So, I like the pick because uh, that's actually... So, Nintendo released a video of the making of music from Splatoon. It's actually really... Uh, there's a bunch of videos out there. Um, they're really interesting. And so, that all of those songs come from one of those videos that I... Like I said, I, I may or may not have watched earlier today, ironically. So... 
Yeah, I, it, it's really fun to watch them actually play the music and, and just see what goes into it kind of behind the scenes. Yep, yeah. exactly. And it begins with the song called The Lutch Dirge, and it is indeed Splatoon 2, developed and published by Nintendo. Mm. So thank you, Chewie. And now we have a submittal by Vexilla. Ooh. And Vexilla, thank you. This is amazing. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. So, Kevin, how does this one make you feel? Oh, you know, it, it kind of has an Animal Crossing feel. I don't know why. It's just, it's, you know, it's sim- sim- mm. simple, melod- the melodic vibe it has with, uh, it, it just makes, it's like, I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a town and, you know, I'm half asleep. I want to eat ramen but I'm too tired to even walk to the ramen, um, <laughs> the ramen shop, and so I take a detour and I sit on this bench and I just fall asleep under the stars. Um, I I don't yeah I, I say Animal Crossing. The, oh it? nice yes. I'm gonna disagree. Wait what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but I I've never played an Animal Crossing game. Well, but that won't that won't be true until next year. That will be true next year, but I have not played an Animal Crossing game. So, so. I've heard this song a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot a lot. And I still love it. It's great. It's actually in yeah. Smash too. So, once again, I'm going to guess uh Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> Technically correct, but yes, that is uh, 7 p.m. from Animal Crossing New Leaf, oh. developed and published by Nintendo. That's very. That's a really good. I I really like that one. It it made me go to places that I've always wanted to go in my dreams. I think it's it's really nice. Um, I need to learn that tune. <laughs> so, thanks, Vixilla. And now we have a submittal by Big Shot. Ooh, here we go.
Huh. Is this a Mario game? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, it, I'm out then. It, it, yeah, I don't know. It, <laughs> it, it went places. I felt like I was in... I felt like I was like the modern Lawrence of Arabia, but then in a sequence where, you know, I'm riding camel, I'm traversing through the desert, and then, you know, all of a sudden, like, I'm on this rampage of, like, jumping across you know question blocks from super mario maker 2 <laughs> and just trying to i don't know i it's going it, it it's very wacky it's not splatoon i mean i don't think it is splatoon it i no. don't yeah what 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 could it <laughs> yeah, be what is, what is this <laughs> what is it, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of curvy no 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 <laughs> oh, really. no yeah i was like whoa that i mean kirby's for me, Kirby is like Apartment 302 or whatever, that one tune. But uh, no, nah, I don't know. What is it? What is it? So this is Bastion. Oh, that is a good one. It, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Terminal match from Bastion. Developed by Supergiant Games and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Nice. Very uh, played, good game. It's you know, I've played a little bit, but I did finish uh, the other one, uh, Transistor. They're next the next and their second game uh it was really fun um i saw mm-hmm. the, there's there's a post game of crystal mode that i still have to beat but it is really fun um but yeah very good mission cool thanks big shot and this is where my submission would normally go but you know what i'm gonna leave my spot for coconut because his favorite soccer team lost to my favorite soccer team yesterday <laughs> so here you go coconut oh. this is for you I mean, it's obviously Pokemon. Like, I, but I just. Oh yeah, obviously. I, I, obviously, but. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. It's a remix, though. It doesn't. It doesn't seem. It it's is. Not yes. Yeah, but is it like? Is it in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? <laughs> like, no, I can't no. guess Smash no. this time. Okay. All right. Well, what? What? Um. Okay. So, which? Which exact Pokemon game is it from? 
It is from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, Little Root Town. Yeah, okay. That, mm, Little Root Town. Oh, the Horn region, right. Ooh. Yes, good. that's right. So, developed by Game Freak, published by the Pokemon Company and Nintendo, and this particular remix is by Thunderscott. It's available on YouTube and SoundCloud. Nice. That's cheating. There, w- Stop okay. cheating. I, you know, I, yeah, what? Mm. For SoundCloud, I mean, SoundCloud's cool, but I mean, for this sort of segment, I mean, like, <laughs> all right. Okay, my next you know, submissions well, are just going to be my own covers of songs, so there you go. <laughs> you know, <I'm> <laughs> hey, guys, Boom. what do you think this one is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. No, I, awesome pick. Thanks, Coconut. And good stuff. Now we have a song by you, Kevin. Oh, you're going to like Let's this Let's see one. what you have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Nintendo game, so I'm gonna say that. <laughs> when now, clarification: when you say it's a Nintendo game, is it a Nintendo published game or a game on a Nintendo system? It's a game on the Nintendo system. Uh, it is actually from the Super Nintendo. I would just say that. Uh, I was yeah, gonna that's, guess that's that. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And I was gonna say right now, if you can guess it, ten dollar eShop card, easy. Right oh. now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, which obviously only uh, pertains to our live audience. So, hey, join, join <laughs> yeah. us next time. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be paying out for eons. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So for anyone in the live audience, <laughs> <laughs> you can guess it, ten, in, in, including you two as well, uh, Daryl and Serge, uh, $10. But, yeah, uh, any guesses? <laughs> so any is it sports or not, not racing? No, is it sports related? It's It's not sports related. Hmm. It sounds like it could also be like a mini game compilation kind of thing. Mm, yeah, no, <laughs> I, 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 I can see that, but yeah, it's it's uh, mm. man, it's Frantic Flea, the Super Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kidding. That's an actual game. <laughs> it's an actual game. Well, it's uh, I'm afraid it's not that. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know that game, but that sounds pretty dope. <laughs> Frantic Flea. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Is it circus related? Uh, no, actually, it's not. This is a pretty tough one. I, mm. I, you know, I, I, I saved this one for a long time. Like, All right, what is time. it? Okay, so it's a boss theme from the Twisted Tales of Spike Mafang. It is a action RPG released on the SNES. Um, I got it a long time ago. It was. It's a game about this young vampire named Spike Mafang, and he's set to you know, defeat this evil zombie general named Von Hessler. And basically, it's like a top-down Zelda kind of game, except 
you can th- it, so before you know like how in Super Mario Odyssey Mario can throw his cap in and just boomerangs back. This mm-hmm. is pretty much the precursor to that. Well, I would say like you know Spike <laughs> can like throw his Mario cap. Mario totally ripping off Spike McFang, man. <laughs> Stop McFang, I know. And you know what's cool because uh, you know Spike can use his hat, his cape. He can also use like magical cards that have like different effects and stuff that can make him invisible. Uh, summon. You know, angels and bats, um, different elemental attacks. You know, he can have a partner with him that can power. He can power that partner up. Uh, he can heal, so the cards can heal, and just it's a very, very interesting adventure type of game. Uh, yeah, uh, it's you know, yeah. If you haven't heard of it, I mean, the Twisted Tales of Spike Mafang. Watch it on YouTube. May, you know, watch a walkthrough or whatever. Consume it how you like. It's a. I really like it. <laughs> Vampire joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's nice. Pretty, nice. Yeah. Okay. And last but definitely not least, we have a song by you, Daryl. Nice. Yay. Get ready to dance, everyone. Oh, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. So I challenge anyone to name another song with a steel drum and a banjo in it. You can't. You can't. Oh, <laughs> this man. is a one-time thing. And if I throw an wow. electric guitar in there, why not? And some trumpets. Yes. <laughs> Do it all. Dang. That is a very is a very interesting tune. I Man, what? I've never heard of it. Uh, I don't think I have. Um, is it from an so, old game? So this is a hint. This is. I picked this because it's relevant now. Uh huh. Okay. So relevant now, that means it's a character or a game that's been resurfaced and talked about. I don't. Ah, oh, gosh. What could it be? <laughs> Steel drum. I mean. And I'll say, if you listen to the soundtrack, uh, when I was when I was looking listening through the soundtrack, I was kind of blown away at just the overall scope that they went with because every song sounds completely different. Uh, there's a 
kind of Ooh. a smoother jazzy theme. There's uh, more upbeat. There's a straight up uh, like samba with you know <laughs> maracas and everything, which I'm glad I didn't pick. Now uh, there's some themes that sound kind of like a Spyro game. There's some themes that sound very much like uh, Mario sports game, if that makes sense. Uh, some Kirby kind of influence. It's crazy. Uh, this game is none of those. <laughs> <laughs> Was it featured in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? No. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. Ah, uh, dang. What? Hmm. Yeah, I think Surgery. I got it spoiled on Discord, but I would not have guessed that at all. I don't know. What? What is it? <laughs> I believe this is from Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Hey, got it. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. So Yay. this was this was my attempt to say. Uh, so Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz turned out to be the uh, the uh, surprise announcement that Monkey Ball is coming back to Switch. Um, and people were actually fairly disappointed that it was Banana Blitz and not like some compilation or some remake of, of the first two. I get it. I do. But this is my saying, give this game a chance. Because uh, I, I played it very briefly. I didn't play it that much. Um, but... The soundtrack is phenomenal, and all of the complaints from the the game seem to be centered around things like wonky motion controls, which in theory are going to be fixed here, and right. um, some bad character models and things like that, which, again, who cares? That's, that's not what this is about. It's, it's got something like 50 minigames. It's got, honestly, a very, very good soundtrack by people who have pretty much done that and the Yakuza games, and that's... Or, I'm sorry, Yakuza games, and that's it. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it, but... Um, yeah, I, I will be getting this game, and I just want to say, you know, give it a chance. I think I think it's going to be better than people expect it to be, personally. Have they announced when it's coming out? Uh, Yeah, fall sometime. I think they gave Ooh. a date, but I don't remember it. Oh, okay. Sometime in October. I just hope it's not too close to Luigi's Mansion. But I'm getting it either way, yeah. Dang. Okay. I have to look more into it. Damn, but that sounds pretty good, though. Man. Yeah, I'm going to post mo- some more tracks because there's, there's there's a wide variety, and I, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Stuff. Awesome. So, yes, those were our 18 songs. What do you guys think? Man, that was, that was pretty dope. I mean... There's this. <laughs> there's a Call of Duty game, <laughs> which is pretty nice. <laughs> um, the one that uh, oh, there was that one that I really like. What was it called again? What was it? <laughs> I need. A, I, need a I think this. it was the My My theme from uh, Link Between Worlds. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I think that, that was the one that you really liked. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, is it? Oh. I have to, man, okay, well, I can't wait to hear the track list again. I mean, that's going to be good. Um, we have, it's a variety for sure. Um, dang, how many episodes have we done with this? Like, it must be like at least four or five music episodes, man. This would be our sixth, if I'm counting wow. correctly. Yes, correct. Dang. And that's musically, music. probably my favorite one so far. And I know we, we say some version of that every time, but honestly, I really like the track list. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm happy with it. I, I, I thought it was fun. Good stuff. So yeah, thanks for everyone who submitted. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you know, thank you. I mean, this is great. I mean, just hearing all the submissions, um, like just yeah, it music. There's just so much music out there from video games that are just so varied, and they use different instruments and different genres. I mean, I can never get tired of of hearing new video game music. Um, I know the one that Danny Danny sent was a, a bit disturbing for me, but it was still a good pick. <laughs> I, I just I just think for me personally, it's too happy. Um, I don't know if I could. It, it's like it's like me. I had this relationship with um, that one Leonardo DiCaprio movie, him and Tom Hardy. Uh, oh crap! I, I I can't believe I don't remember it. Um, do you guys know it? I know we're going off track, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> oh, is no, that no, no, a it, Nintendo published movie? <laughs> it's The Revenant. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna tell you right. I won't go off tangent. The Re- yeah, The Revenant. I. We even watched it on my birthday. It was just so. It, it was. It's a movie I watched, but I would never watch it ever again because it just hit the, <laughs> it hit my heart so hard on certain scenes. And I know we're going off track, but I just have to mention that. And, and no, no, it's a 
the the Reverend Nintendo. Reverend <laughs> 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 Nintendo. Like, yeah, it, it's just uh, I'll talk about it after later on. But okay, that's how I felt when I listened to Danny's submission. Like, once time is good, but I don't know if I can listen to it again. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's too much, and that and that's not Sergio. Just, cue it up. Cue it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I mean. Unless you guys have any complaints, uh, first off, oh, okay, <laughs> we we did kind of ne- neglect something last week, so uh, we did ask the question: uh, which color uh, switch light would you get if you were forced to choose? And then that question was immediately made uh, kind of irrelevant. <laughs> so uh, for <laughs> me, I, I don't know all, all of them, none of them, I. Of them, probably the yellow one stands out to me the most for some reason, but I'm not getting it, so there you go. And Nice. <laughs> yeah, so you guys already... Uh, Sergio, did you say which color you liked? No, and it would also be yellow, but I am also not interested at all. <laughs> yeah, so it, that, that question got super depressing super fast, so yeah. Well, <laughs> I chose the, the gray one, and I... I think it's a very nice looking gray, and I will say that I will not get the switch lights. Yeah, we're not. So, Sergio, do you have a question for this week? We do, but before that, we wanted to remind everyone that we are actually indeed planning to do our own Splatfests, and there were some ideas thrown already. If you want to... Uh, post more, definitely do so. If you want to type the word Splatfest there so we can search for them quickly. We're going to be making a list and then we'll figure out something, probably a, a poll or a voting system to see which ones we go with each month. But for this week, we do have a unique question. And it is, if you could only see one color for the rest of your life, which color would you pick? <laughs> wow, that is actually a very good question. I <laughs> I mean, because I have a favorite color, but then I don't know if that's a color I want to see for the rest of my life. I don't know. I mean, yeah, everything will be that color: the no, water, no, sky, no, no, everything. No, I, oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> In before Sergio says brown, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's totally gonna do it. I know this. We all know yeah. this. <laughs> Man, okay. <sighs> Rose-colored glasses, baby. All right. Oh. There we go. Okay. Actually, I like that question. So yeah, we will we will pull some answers next next week. And no, mm-hmm. rainbow is not a color of dragon. No, uh, <laughs> but they're colors. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, we are gonna jump on out of here. If you haven't already, and for all of our live listeners, obviously you you made it here. But for everybody else, please feel free to join our Discord group. Uh, we have a community I really love. I really do, and I, I want to encourage everybody to jump in there. Uh, we've got some really cool things happening, such as a Splatfest, such as uh, Gamer Duels are coming very, very soon, actually. We're in the final phases of, of wrapping that, so uh, definitely look for some more information in a couple weeks. Uh, other than that, outside of our Discord, we have a Facebook group. We are on Twitter at Nintendo Jump and on Instagram as Nintendo Jump, so please... Uh, Give us a follow over there and, you know, check out. We will tweet out special events and, and things like that. We also put all of our episodes on YouTube. So, and pretty much any podcast app you can think of. So just check us out. Uh, if you do have any feedback, questions, comments, future topic ideas, anything you want, you can either hit us up on Discord or send us an email at nintendojumppodcast at gmail.com. Uh, and, of course, if you want to support the show, the best way you can do that is through our Patreon that is patreon.com slash Nintendo Jump. Uh, other ways you can support it would be especially please leave us a review uh, in, in your podcast app of choice, especially if that is Apple iTunes. That helps us uh, actually get media status and maintain that and get uh, more familiarity out there. Uh, basically opens some doors for us. So I uh, would really, really appreciate it and want to thank you so much for your support. Uh, this is Sergio. I mean, this is Daryl. And on behalf of Sergio <laughs> and Kevin, I uh, want to say thanks for listening. And we hope you have a great week. See you guys. Goodbye, everybody. Laters. Have a good one.
Yes, thank you again for listening to the podcast this week. We uh, hope it was as enlightening for you all as it was for us. Uh, And now for a very, very special treat. We actually have a new ending theme. Uh, This song was personally requested by a caller who went by Kevin, or also known as Wave. Uh, So, Kevin, this one's for you.